Ethoxylation is a reaction to produce ethoxylates. Ethoxylate is a non-ionic surfactant produced via ethylene oxide condensation onto a hydrophobic starting material, mostly in the presence of an alkaline catalyst such as NaO o or CO. Non-ionic surfactants are used widely in industrial applications, such as detergents, health and personal care, coatings, and polymers. Below is the general chemical reaction for ethoxylates. RxH is fatty acids reacting with XC2H4O, ethylene oxide and produces ethoxylates with the presence of alkaline catalysts such as Na, O or Co. A variety of substrates can be used to produce ethoxylates for example, fatty acid, methyl ester and alcohol, depending on the usage. Reaction of fatty acid with ethylene oxide converts the hydrophobic starting material to a surfactant. The reaction is run at 140 to 180 degrees Celsius under an inert atmosphere using a base catalyst where potassium hydroxide is most commonly used. The direct ethoxylation of fatty acids typically shows an induction period during which the reaction rate is relatively slow. The initial reaction produces primarily ethylene glycol monoester. After about 1 mole of ethylene oxide is added, the reaction rate increases, and the polyethylene glycol and diester content in the product increases. At the temperatures used to make fatty acid ethoxylates, ester interchange creates a complex reaction mixture consisting of monoester, diester, and polyethylene glycol. In this video, ethylene oxide production from a circulation reactor is explained as circulating reactors provide better mixing and better control, thus resulting in greater throughput and more uniform products. The process parameters in the production of ethylene oxide are, reactor temperature, ethylene oxide pressure, ethylene oxide flow rate. Fatty acid and catalyst are charged to the feed tank A and the mixture is heated and dried. The mixture is pumped into the top of the reactor D through the spray nozzle G by the pump B and the line A. The feed tank E introduces liquid ethylene oxide under nitrogen pressure into the top of the reactor D, where it vaporizes and meets the atomized feed. The full charge is circulated from the bottom of the reactor to the top of the reactor via line F or the heat exchanger C. The controller H maintains the reactor's temperature by activating the valve J, which directs a portion or all the circulating feed through the heat exchanger C. The entire reaction takes place in a nitrogen-rich environment. The controller I monitors the ethylene oxide pressure and controls the flow of ethylene oxide to the reactor through the valve K. During the ethylene oxide addition and afterwards, the reaction mixture is continually circulated to ensure that all of the absorbed epoxide is reacted. 